more conversion problems. All right, convert the following. Let's wish I can convert the following into greasy peanut butter cups. That's kind of what I'm feeling right now. Okay, let's go with a here. 15 cubic centimeters, two liters. All right, a little spicy. Uh, we don't, okay, so let's stop by all the intermediates. We do uh, know a conversion factor that will turn cubic centimeters into milliliters. You remember that? That's right, just one to one. So uh, just get really familiar with that. Now, piece of cake. Now we can take milliliters into liters, right? Milli means 1,000 times smaller. 1,000 of those. Boom, boom. So all we're doing is taking 15 divided by 1,000. You can just move the decimal three times over that way. All right, hold on. One, two, three. Oh. Excuse me. Uh, there we go. You can put that in scientific notation if you want, I guess. Looks fine. All right, let's do B. Let me do a little more contrast. Oh, boy, excuse me. All right, 7.38 grams, 2 kilograms. Ah, when are we going to get some? Anyway, kilograms, 1,000 grams in one kilogram. Got to know that. Got to memorize that. <sighs> Divide by a thousand. Boom, boom, boom. It's the same thing as a problem on the top. 0 0.0738. Am I reading the what? No, hold on. No, it's not. The one on the top had two digits. All right, one, two, three. Okay, hold on. 0 0.0738. Eight preserve those significant figures kilograms now we can I'm gonna write this in scientific notation because it's got uh, one more zero 7.38 times 10 to the one two three <laughs> we just move the back three back where it was three places all right sorry yeah there we go that's what happens when you divide by three just Anyway, let's keep going. 6.7 seconds. How do we turn that to milliseconds? Well, we need seconds to get rid of uh, on the denominator to get rid of the seconds we started with. And we want milliseconds. As milli means 1,000 times smaller. So there's going to be 1,000 of them in one second. All right. Just six, six times 1,000 is 6,000. 700 milliseconds. Now, this is not really clear how many sig figs there are. We know there are two because this conversion factor here is unlimited. The six and the seven are significant, so that's going to dictate how many are in our answer. So let's just write this in uh, scientific notation 6.7 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, right? Three times bigger means you're multiplying by 10 three times, so that's going to be. Now we know it. Now everybody knows it has three significant figures. All right, last one down here. Oh, come on, come on. Right, 94.5 grams. All right, get rid of grams. Put that on the bottom and microgram. Oh, micro. All right. First time seeing that. Micro means one. Uh, microgram. All right, it means one million times smaller. I am not going to write million. So this is where, like, um, I'm going to do it the other way, uh, where I'm going to put um, one next to the unit with the prefix, and then uh, micro is 10 to the negative 6. So this is easier, less writing for me. So, But again, any way you do it, just get the same answer. All right, so you could have wrote one million on the top. Um, all right. Anyway, you're dividing by. Uh, oh, it's, oh, all right. Well, I'm not moving this over six times. That's just too many zeros to write. So I can just rewrite the original number in scientific notation. And let me do that. 
So that's just going to be 9.45. Just move the, um, that's 10 to the, just move it over one time, right? So that's just times 10. You can put the one there if you, if you please, right? And that's all going to go over, uh, the coefficient here is one, okay? Because there's, I'll just put that, you don't have to put the one, because it's just anything times one is itself. But I'll put it there to make it look like it's what we're used to looking at. All right, so, all right, the coefficient is going to be, what is that? 9.45, all right, times 10. And then what do we do with the exponents when we divide? We subtract, all right? So 1 minus a negative 7 is 1 plus 6. I'm sorry, 1 minus a negative 6 is, I'm thinking ahead, 1 minus a negative 6 is 7. All right, and that should make sense because micro is a really, really, really small unit, so you're going to have a much bigger number next to it. All right, so micrograms.